Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingwebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install a Magento extension via Magento Connect. To start, simply uh, look for an extension or if you have one, uh, find uh, the extension page. Uh, for those of you that are looking to install an extension for the very first time, go to uh, magentocommerce.com forward slash magento dash connect and then search for an extension. I'm going to search for a community extension. and I'm going to enter in my version I have uh, version 1.8.1 and I'm looking for free extensions and in this tutorial I'm going to install this uh, easy light box uh, since it seems like a pretty cool uh, extension to install I personally don't like the way images open up on the stock Magento so simply uh, go here where it says install now make sure you are logged in and click on install now and select the Magento Connect version. Mine is version 2.0 and I believe that if you have Magento 1.5 and above it would be Magento Connect 2.0 and anything uh, prior to 1.5 would be Magento Connect 1.0. Uh, read the terms, make sure that you can live up to them, agree, get the extension, key copy this key and uh, before you install any extensions you should actually uh, disable cache simply select all select disable and submit after installing the extension remember to uh, re-enable cache also you're going to want to read the description and see whether there are any other instructions uh, for your particular extension here it even tells us how to enable the extension after we've installed it. So now I'm just going to go to uh, System here and then I'm going to go to Magento Connect and Magento Connect Manager. Once here I am going to log in. These are the same login credentials as for my admin panel. And now once logged in I'm going to paste that key that I uh, copied here. I'm going to paste it right into this box and I'm going to click on install. And now it's going to ask me whether I want to install it. As you can see it's ready to install and I'm simply going to click on proceed if I wish to continue installing the extension and now it has installed uh, successfully and I can refresh and make sure that it's there and yes it is there and now I simply go back to my admin panel and as a developer said here I simply go to system configuration templates master easy lightbox and enable the extension there so I simply go here to configuration and now I go to easy lightbox right here and as you can see I'm getting a 404 don't worry don't panic because the site specifically said that we need to uh, log out after installing this is why it's important that you pay attention to the description same for some extensions you will need to flush the cache so just log out and I'm going to log back in and now when I go back I no longer get a 404 so I'm going to enable lightbox and that should be fine and I'm going to click on save config and uh, depending on your extension after enabling you may need to uh, flush the cache again uh, you will have to look into that if that's the case you might as well leave the cache disabled and then enable it you know just play around with different things and now we're going to refresh our page and now we're going to get a nice light box so 
Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.